We're now into Assassin's Creed 2, with Lucy breaking you out of the Stergo Industries and introducing you to Sean and Rebecca. You freely go back into the Animus, taking on Ezio. Both Ezio and Desmond find out that Ezio is an assassin when his father is killed, and you go around seeking revenge for this. Only the Prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden. Remember that for later. When you come out of the Animus, you pass out and have a flashback from Altair. The killing of Mochenigo. Even the Medici, my father and brothers, it was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. By the way, the Spaniard is Rodrigo Borgia, who is now the Pope. The Apple of Eden is brought into Venice. Ezio kills the guard holding it and takes the apple. Ezio, it's been some time. He goes to kill Rodrigo Borgia but Rodrigo manages to run away in time. I couldn't care less about your prophet. He never showed up. No, but you did. What? A prophet's arrival was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. I am an assassin, trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you and each one of us here. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Throughout the game, you collect the codex pages and arrange them on a wall. Like I said, they were made by Altair and reveal a map when using Eagle Vision. The dots on this map show where pieces of Eden are. It is a map of the entire world. It looks like the vault is in Roma. Then the Spaniard. This is why he became Pope. Now I understand. It's not the vault alone he's gained access to, but the staff as well. The Codex always spoke of two keys. Two pieces of Eden needed to open the vault. One is the apple. And the other is the staff. He then goes to Rome to kill Rodrigo Borgia, the Pope. Requiescat in pace, you bastard! I don't think so! Failed to do so. No! Ah! Rodrigo tries to use the staff on Ezio, but Ezio manages to resist because he has the apple. How is it to resist? As you wish. Ezio uses the apple to make five of himself, like Al Mulim did in Assassin's Creed 1. They fight, but Rodrigo uses the staff to make himself invisible. <laughs> he then steals the apple and stabs Ezio, but Ezio survives. Open, damn you! Open! It's over, Rodrigo. I am the prophet! You never were. Get it over with, then. No. Killing you won't bring my family back. He opens the vault and takes the apple from the staff. He walks in and Minerva appears. Minerva is one of the ones who came before. She talks to Desmond through Ezio, telling him of things to come. But we'll come to that later. Greetings, Prophet. It is good you have come. Let us see it. To give thanks. She blesses the apple, making it specific to Ezio. You and I will deal with the Templars. What, they're here? Outside the Animus, the base is attacked by Templars, but you fight them off, leaving Warren Vidic to flee. You then move to another safe house. Looks like it's just you and me now. Enjoy your victory, Mr. Miles. Temporary as it is. Moving on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, 